Bishop d4. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. Wow. Let's get going. Let's play knight f3. Um, this win is plus zero, so I better win this game. Because otherwise I get zero points for this. My opponent not here. Okay, let's play g3, bishop g2. I've been playing a lot of knight f3, g3 lately. Um, just very, very slow, like King's Indian style attacks. Good d3. Okay, let's go knight h4. I guess I'll play e3. I don't want to allow some knight g4, queen h4 nastiness, so just trying to prevent it. Obviously, I can go knight d2. I can also go b3. Okay, I'll take. Let's play b3. He might try to play f5. If I get the Fianchito, I should be fine here, pressuring the pawn. Bishop e5. I could trade. I think I want to keep the two b's here, though. And maybe go c4. Try to play on the, play on the center. Maybe e4. Maybe knight c3. Maybe bishop a3 also is an idea, depending what he chooses to do. I can also just go f4 to stop e5 altogether. But right now, there's a lot of pressure in the center. Uh, it's a question of how he's going to try to push. I don't know. He can try to push any of these pawns. But I think I should be fine. I can obviously take e4. If I get knight c3, e4, I should be better. I can also just go f4 to close the diag. I mean, it's basically a question of who's pushing p in the center of the board here. Um, we'll see what he does. He's down to 215, which is very, very low. Now, I can go knight c3 or knight d2. I actually don't know which one's right. My instinct is to go to d2, but then c3 puts more pressure on d5. But my gut says that d2 is better. It just, I don't know. It feels slightly better. Maybe like g5, maybe f4 here. Maybe c5 right away. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go c5 right away and then f4. I'm just going to take away space in the center of the board here. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. Yeah, queen e7. I mean, I can go g5 if I want to. I think actually I am going to go g5 here. Um, and the point is that I built the classic flying. Actually, I should go here probably. I, I don't want to give him some f6 tricks. So I'm going to go like b4, a3, expand on the queen side here. It can castle, but there's bishop f3. Um, so I feel like I'm doing pretty well here, but we'll see what he does. If e5, I just take. If f6, I can just take because g6 hangs. If he castles, he's probably walking into a storm on the, on the queen side. He goes knight f8, not worried. I'm just going to go b4. Maybe a4, maybe e4 even is a move here. He's, he's very, very cramped. I'm just going to go a4. I guess why not? And now the key here is how do I play this? I think I'm going to go bishop f3 to pressure the knight. So if he castles, I can always just go like queen h4 and takes. I can also go bishop e2. Okay, he goes f5. Oh, shoot. Did I blunder? Ah, I might have made a slight mistake here. If I go queen g2, there's bishop f4, which I missed. Crud. Queen h4 castles. I think I have to take. And I didn't really want to do this, but. It's my position's good. I just don't know if it's great. This isn't really what. Why did I play Bishop F3? That was such a bad move. No, I, I, sh I should have probably just gone h4 to overprotect, but okay, it goes there. I, have to be, I actually have to be a little bit careful how I play this. I do have b5 here, but I think I'm going to go bishop e2. I don't love the way I've played this at all. I'm going to go b5, b6 somewhere. Okay, it goes there, which I think is a mistake. I'll go here to pressure the pawn. And then I think I'm going to go b5. I also have, actually, you know what? I've got knight f3, knight g5, though. And once I hold the pawn, then I can start pushing on the... There's also knight e5, knight g5. I can start pushing b5. Bishop very, very well placed on d3. That's just a mistake, I think. Queen f5. Queen f5. I can't win the pawn immediately. I can also just go... What do I want to do? Uh, I think I'm going to go b5 here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get aggressive and try to attack immediately on the queen side. And I can always keep this bishop e4, knight g5 in my back pocket if I need it. He's also very low on time, which doesn't help his case. So queen f5, I think there's just knight g5. Yeah, he's way too low on time. I should just win this game pretty soon. I'll pre-move ab5 in case he takes. 
Why is he so slow? Is chess lock on lag? No, it's not lagging, is it? It doesn't look like it is. Okay, now, I mean, I, I there's got to be a way to break through. How is there no way to break through? Like, takes... Oh, maybe I go knight g5 first. Because now the king's on the file. Yeah, maybe just here right away. Because take six wins. Can always take, take, maybe. He's way too slow. Yeah, he's just way too slow. Um, How do I win this game, though? It's very annoying, actually. It's very strange. Like, I don't have a way to just win on the spot. Maybe I just take, take, take or something. Yeah, I think I'm going to take and then take. Can play rook f3? Looks fine. King's safe. C6 is hanging here. Go here and then take, I guess. It's not the best game I've ever played, but it should be good enough. He's too low on time. There we go. We got the win. All right. One out of one. Let's move on. Let's see. Maxime already won his game, so let's see who's still playing. Thank you, Zusha. Moral Sokhnu for the 10. Thank you, Deeper for the 13. Thank you, Bazcam for the 17. Finn for the 3. Thank you, Zesty for the 4. Tiburon for the 21. Dragon X Rider for the 9. Deathcap for the 23. Jihara Hybrid for the 21. Castaneda for the 14. Yebo for the 6. Thank you so much, Orgo Pro for the 43. K for the 3. Kia Kona for the Prime. Rock Bottom HM for the Prime. And Tramp for the 33. Okay. On Dragon is better, but is he winning? King C5. Bishop G2, B6, King D6 should be winning. Yeah, should be winning. Noterbeck won already. Did he win? Yeah, maybe he won. I don't know. But let's keep going. And there was a D man for 21 months. Appreciate it. King D6 wins Knight C5. Bum, bum, bum. I think there was an Aiden R chest for the 51 month reason. Okay, so Andregan wins. Let's take a look at Dubov. Dubov won his game. Let's keep moving along. What else do we have? We have Nihal Sarin, who is not winning here, by the way. He's playing Dishonor on your cow. This is a draw, by the way, with correct play. Yeah, just Rook E1 and Rook C1. Rook C1. Oh, wait. Oh, Rook A3 or Rook E2 only moves here for Nihal. Yeah, and it's a draw. Wow, Nihal drawing in the first round. Oof. Sheesh. Brutal for Nihal. Draws a 2,500 and loses eight points. Ouch. Magus is not playing, no. Um, now, let's see. We, got, we have Dennis Laz playing here against um, Giorno, someone who, uh, someone who Kramnik has, has, has singled out probably more than anyone except for myself. So... Let's see. Let's see. Den Laz is probably going to win this game with C5, C6. Thank you so much to Hurtful Jeweler for the 36 months. Appreciate it. Um, Knight C4 is a move, too. Okay. Knight C7, Bishop C4, Bishop F1 also good. Probably just Bishop G2. King F2, Bishop E4. Ah, there's going to be some H4, G5. Yeah, H4, G5 create the wide peoples here. Um, F6, F7. It's also a check, obviously, which doesn't hurt. And then C7. Yeah, GG. So, all right. That's it. Lazvik wins his game, and let's move on. Let's see who else is still playing. Still a few games in round number one. Is Daniel playing? I don't think Naroditsky is playing. No, I don't think so. So we have Rook H3. Dan is commenting on Tata Steel. Okay. Wait, it's a draw. Black just sacks the Rook. Check. Rook D4. Check. Check. Or check here. <laughs> okay, we got a draw. Um, yeah. Round two starting in a second. Um, is Cactus playing? No, Magnus is not playing. Why is Parham losing every game? Because Title Tuesday is a tough tournament. It's a long tournament, too. Oh, yeah. So, oh, anyway. All right. 
Uh, is he card playing? Yeah, I am playing. Yes. We're on one out of one. Round number two should be starting pretty soon. Nihal drew in the first round. Yes, Nihal drew. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, emote. There we go. All right, round number two. Let's get going. Wesley playing too, GMW so. Uh, let's just play G6. I guess I'll go C6, D5. This is my classic, um, this is my classic pandemic opening that I played a lot online. Like that period from like March to March to June of uh 2020, I was playing this uh this this sort of quasi um quasi like Carl Khan slash uh modern setup. I think I'll go here, probably knight d7, knight b6, maybe rookie eight also. I played this a lot during the pandemic. This is like, I think this is called the Robotch, maybe. I think it's called, is this the Robotch or is the Robotch something else? I could be wrong. But I, I played this setup a lot. In fact, uh, actually, Hans, I think, was playing this a lot throughout the pandemic as well. Let's go rookie eight. Probably h3 or something, or queen d2. I'm going to go b5 here, try to build this nice uh, central pawn chain a little bit logical I could play something like c5 but I think queen b6 maybe rook c8 with c5 makes sense there's also g5 I'm, th I'm actually thinking too long here let's think let's not think too long um I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go here because c4 there's always bishop g4 somewhere you can also just go rook c8 maybe it's also bishop f5 there's also g5 there's also bishop d5 maybe depending what he does Let's see what he plays he plays rook d1 which is sort of what i expected him to do uh, i'm gonna go uh bishop d5 and bishop e4 is playable it's not necessarily what i want bishop G no i think i'm just gonna go knight d5 keep it simple here let's keep it simple i expected that um I'm gonna go here to pro I might I think I'm gonna sack an exchange actually I think I'm gonna sack on e2 and take on f3 could have gone bishop f5 okay ah uh, is this good or not tough decision like I want to do it but it's also probably wrong it's probably wrong though isn't it rookie two takes six takes gf3 and c8 nah it's 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 too much okay it's too much let's just stabilize and I'm also down on time which is very bad too I'll pre-move this. I should have probably played a5 so I'd knight before, but let's focus. It's a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna have to be careful here. Mm, there's just about five, maybe. Let's see what he does here goes a4 okay I could play a5 I don't like it so if I don't like it I should probably go here to hit the queen because now bishop b3 I can take take and I'm up a pawn queen b3 I don't know what my move is after queen b3 to be quite honest he's also spending a lot of time here Let's see what he does Wow, he is very slow here. So if I can just keep pressing him on the clock, I probably will win this game. Okay, still think. Oh, he does it. Wow, okay. Go here. But I'm just up a pawn. Am I not just up a pawn here? Okay, it goes there. I mean, he's trying... This doesn't look right, because I, I if I go queen b8, what's this move? I, I don't understand. Okay, I need to think for a second. If I go queen d7... Go here. c5, I have knight d5, I think. Or queen d5 as well. I think I'm okay here, but I'm not 100% sure. So I do need to be a little bit careful. 
I mean, I am up a pawn, so if I just go like Queen C. In the long term, these pawns should play, but let's see what he does. Wow, he is so slow. Okay, now he goes there. Okay, now now I should just be better. I can play like queen c8, queen a6. Of course, I take with the pawn, connect my pawns here. Just like, I don't know. Bishop f8 is probably good enough. Hit the rook, rook a8 probably. Just get rid of these rooks, and then I'm just going to take and go here. Create a pass pawn, and the rest should be very basic. Yeah, now I've got the pass pawn. I have queen c1, queen f4 as well. Um, there should be a forced win here. Let's let's think for a second. There's some good reason not to just go b4. No, I can't see it, so let's just go b4. Okay, um... I have bishop c5 somewhere. I'm up a lot of time, so I should just chill and relax. I think I'm just gonna go check in queen c5. Should be good enough. Because I hit d5 and f2. Could even maybe just check and trade the queens and push. Go check. And check and GG. Feeling. Oh. Thank you, crazy for the 42. Thank you, Levon, for the 19. Appreciate it. So, all right. Two out of two. Let's see who's still playing. There should be some games. Let's see, Big Fish is playing against Saint. And Big Fish is losing. He's down a rook here. Down a rook. Down a rook in this position. Really, really tricky. See if you can somehow find a way to win this. Um, rook B1, maybe. Or just CB5. I mean, if he takes, there's Queen B5. I mean, it's just lost. Uh, Magus late joined. Thank you to Skilen for the pro wait. Magus late joined. I don't know. That might be a debate. I don't know. That might be a debate. I, I assume it is. Why would Magus late join this this late? Just Queen F2 or GF3 or I mean a any any move wins here pretty much. Thank you so much to Jay Kennedy for the nine months. Thanks so much to Jay Kennedy. Just G3. I would just go G3 here or Rook D1. Good enough. G3. Or a7. I mean, ev everything wins here. Probably rook f3. I would just take with the rook. Yeah, and take with the queen. Queen f2. Rook d7, of course. Or a7. Rook e7. And now a7. And yeah, Big Fish is going to lose this game. a7. Like... I don't know. Rook b7, rook b8 looks good enough. Bishop d3 looks good enough. Queen a1, king h2. Queen d4. Or rook d7. Uh, rook d7 and queen d4. Yeah, now it's just easy. Takes, rook a4, bishop b4. Bishop c4, bishop d5, gg. Thank you so much to Darkstar for the 21 months. Thanks so much to Darkstar. Appreciate it. So rook f5, rook g5, h4, easy. So big fish losing in round two, pretty rough. Um, get back the old Superman picture. Okay, let's see. Bornick's still playing here. Bornick is trying to win this, but is this actually winning? Fish buff six. Whoa, whoa, king g2. Takes, bishop d4. Whoa, what is that? Oh my God. Wow. What a huge blunder by Black. Wow. Bornick gets a miracle win. He should not have won that game. Miracle win. Um, who is Big Fish? That is um, um, Vladimir Fedosev from Russia. So, yeah. Okay, Black wins. Let's see. What else do we have? That's a time scramble? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need you to make a repetition. I'm not covering Tata Steel right now. Kramnik drew against the CM. Okay, thanks an NH pickleballer for the 35 month resub. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this game is still going. I don't know why. Uh, why does Fedosev have a Slovenian flag? He's currently representing the country of Slovenia. He left Russia. Um, he left Russia, you know, when they when they uh when they started a war with Ukraine. So 
That's why Fedosev is in um, is in Slovenia. Thanks for said Don B McGee for the 16 months. Appreciate it. So, um, just Queen D7 block a win. Magnus is not playing Title Tuesday. No, he skipped the last few. I think he's getting ready for this event called the. Um, oh right, it's not the bro Robot. Just D6 G6. It's the Gergen Idzi and Karo Khan mix. Um, uh, do you plan to play competitive chess again? I mean, I try every so often. Let's just go to Knight 3 G3. Um, let's go back to E mode only. Here we go. Um, so, yeah. Am I playing chess? Well, Masters, I will. Um, let's play Knight F3. Okay, let's, just, eh, let's go B3 this time. Let's play something more off the, off the edge. Play C4 here. Probably he'll go D4, Bishop B2. Oh, he takes. Interesting. He'll just take back. Probably he'll go C... Oh, no. He goes... Ah, because he has this E5, E4, but Knight D4... I don't know what's going on here. Knight B3, E3, Knight C3. Should be fine for me. Let's go here. Just making sure there's no Bishop F2 weirdness, which there isn't. I think Bishop C5 might be a fairly serious inaccuracy, actually. So I'm going to go G3 and, like, Bishop G2, hit the pawn... It's also knight c3. Um, I do have knight d4 to hit the bishop. Yeah, let's go knight d4 and hit the bishop. So if he takes, I have queen a4, b5 takes. That should be good, although I'm not 100% sure. I assume it's good. If it's not, so be it. That's life. I didn't want to go queen c2 because I thought there was knight c6, knight b4. No, oh, he does go for it. Wow, okay. Hmm, this is interesting. And I assume I'll just go queen c2 and bishop g2 and try to argue in the long term. The two b's are better than better than his pieces. Let's go here, hit the pawn. I mean, I'll go queen c2, of course, in castles. If rook b8, I, I assume I just go queen c2 and then knight c3. Yeah, let's just go here, hit the pawn on e4, and now I've got knight c3 incoming. I should be better here. If I get castle and I get knight c3, and I'm definitely better. Um, a castle, do I play knight c3 also? Or, eh, bishop a3 doesn't work. I think this should be right, and the reason I think this should be right is because if I castle, there's going to probably be some knight d5, knight b4, which could harass the queen. If knight d3, I just take, take, queen c1, I can castle. Should be no mates here, so I should be fine. I'll pre-move it in case he puts something there, but he won't. Very, very slow here. Very, very slow. Um, okay, goes 96. Logical move. Um, or is it? Wait, is it? Wait, is it? Now, first of all, I can obviously castle here. I don't want to castle, though. Knight e4, knight e4, bishop e4. Rook b2, queen b2, bishop... Bishop f6, queen c, queen b1. Queen d4, there's bishop... Queen d4, castles. I don't see it, so I'm going to go for it. Queen d4 castle should be fine. Bishop a1, queen a1 should be fine. Knight c5, there's bishop h7, and then I can just go bishop c2 and castles. I don't see it. We'll see. Maybe I'm insane, but I don't see it. Castles was probably, like, what I did is either great or horrible. I think it's great, but what the heck is knight d4? Wait a second, wait a second. That's just a mistake. Uh, it's a mistake, but it's not a big mistake somehow, because, eh... It's a mistake, but it's not, like, losing. If I tango rook b1, takes... Bishop d4, queen d4, rook b1, takes... Ta I mean... I mean, I think this should be fine. Let's... Now, obviously, take. Bishop h7, king h8. No, I think this is... Oh, he's got bishop b4, too, though. I mean, this pawn is always hanging, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on here. If I get e3, though, if I get, like, e3, d4, I just win the game. So, that's what I'm banking on here, and we'll see if I can actually get it in. Let's see what he does here. 
It's getting a little bit low on time. 40 seconds and ticking. I could have castled too, but it didn't seem right. It goes there. Um, I think I just castle. Because if I go queen c2, he can just take. Or go queen a1 even, so can't be right. Oh, I suck at chess. I could have just taken and gone bishop. Bishop d3. I actually suck at chess. I'm still better, but okay, let's take and go here. I'll still win the game, but not very happy with this, uh, with what I did here. Okay, let's go rook c1. Eventually, I should just be able to activate the rook and win the game. I could have just taken and gone bishop d3, and that would have just been great for me. Okay, it goes there. Queen a5. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is play rook c2 and rook b2 to try to claim the file, basically. Just want to activate the rook on the seventh rank. Like, maybe rook b5 here. That's a bad move. Doesn't do anything. Let's go here. Mm, let's just play e3. I should win this game, but it's going to take quite a bit of technique. Let's go queen c2. Probably at some point I should play h4, but just a question of when. Um, I go rook b5. Queen a1, king g2 should be fine. Just making sure there are no tricks here. It's getting very long. Rook h5. Okay, so he's creating all these split pawns, which I don't know. In the long run, this should be winning. If I fix the weakness here, this should be winning eventually. Go here on bishop f3 and queen e2. Like, I've got a four on two on the uh, on the king side here. Yeah, he's not going to be able to guard all the pawns. Let's go here and bishop e4. Yeah, we got the win. Okay, three up, three down. Thank you so much to Ross on Twitch for the 24. Zio sense for the 16 months. Appreciate it. So... We're on three out of three. So far, so good. Let's see who else is playing. Maxime is playing against Mops Beast. Maxime is apparently losing after Bishop takes C6. Or wait, no, sorry. It's Maxime's move here. Wait, what am I saying? If F4, there's Rook A3, right? Or, okay. Rook C8. Rook D1. Got to move. Rook F1. Rook A2. There's Bishop E1. Bishop oh, Maxime's going to get mated, I think. Rook A3. No. I think Maxime will win this eventually now. Rook e4. Oh, actually, there's bishop e3. Takes and bishop f4. Bishop f4. Rook e4. Takes and... Wow. What a save from Maxime. What a save. Okay, so Maxime saves it. He gets the draw. Thank you so much to Boki for the three months. Thank you Neon Argon for the 35 and Raceland for the two months. Insane. Okay, Dubov still playing. Dubov playing against Machiak and... Also a very tough position to judge. Rook c5. Rook g5. Gotta move. Rook c5. Yeah, this will be a draw, I think. Yeah. So Dubov also draws the game early as well. So a lot of draws. I figure on average, I should be able to win about one out of every five or thereabouts. So like, I, I feel like I should be able to win 20%-ish. That's my guess, but... Of course, Magnus hasn't been playing, which is kind of a bit of a bummer. Because with Magnus not playing, I should have better chances to win more. Let's go Knight of Six. I'm going to go Bishop B4. Tilted, yes. Actually, we should be on emote now. Let's go to emote. But of course, chat's on the, chat's on the delay, I just realized. So let's go bishop b4 and hit the knight. Bishop g5? Huh. 
this good or I, I mean I shouldn't think too long I don't know I don't believe him so I'm just gonna take I, I don't know maybe I'm crazy could also take when there's knight before okay whatever let's just play simple chess let's go knight c6 I suspect this is not great for me based on the quickness of my opponent's moves but I am just up a pawn here like I am just up a pawn and so he's gonna have to prove an advantage if he can't prove an advantage then eventually I should be able to consolidate um take with a pawn I don't know taking with a pawn looks correct just like queen e5 okay, let's go queen c5 to hit the pawn there's also rook g8 maybe d5 I'm not sure what's going on here like I feel like I'm probably worse in, in like a computer game I bet I'm worse but in human play I feel like I'm probably okay because I have bishop a6 to trade the bishops too there's also a4 to hit the rook okay so I think I'm gonna go just go king e7 here maybe I should have played D I feel like I'm playing a little bit too quickly also if I take what am I missing Queen e5 which page five of I don't know, maybe I'm missing something but I, I I don't actually understand what's going on here I mean maybe I'm missing something and I'm just in trouble but I'm up two pawns and I can always just push and if white doesn't have a knockout blow very quickly here I get Bishop a6 for example I think I'm completely fine so I'm either completely fine or I'm completely lost which is a good spot to be in in blitz specifically because then the pressure is on the person who has to prove the attack in a classical game like I, I think in a classical game my opponent would be doing very well here but I think in a blitz game this is probably losing so we'll see like after the game I'm really curious to see because I have a feeling this is not a good position for me just a just an intuitive feel but in a blitz game where you don't have all day to think I think it's it's probably good okay it goes there um I mean rook g8's a move f5 is also a move okay, if I go f5 what's he doing actually let's think I can also go rook b no no not rook b8 that can't be right bishop a6 what's his actual idea is the thing I don't see his actual idea so I'm just gonna go here I don't I don't see an actual idea like if I put the rook here I get queen g5 I mean I'm just up two pawns here so unless he has a way to break through really quickly long term I'm gonna be better okay, do I go rook g7 or f5 a question my gut says rook ah, but there's maybe queen h6 or something then I can go bishop b7 and rook g wait a second okay let's see rook g7 is definitely an option f5 looks actually f5 looks better somehow I think this is correct though maybe I'm wrong but it looks correct Bishop d3 okay now I think I should definitely go Bishop a6 or maybe yeah I think I've got to go like here get rid of the bishops for sure if I can get rid of these bishops I'm probably just winning oh you know what I could have played maybe I should have gone c5 with Bishop b ah maybe I should have gone c5 there c5 might have been better than this but I still think I'm in good shape so after c4 c5 I'm still getting what I want anyway maybe I think c wait if I'm not losing here I'm just actually winning oh he's got rookie one great of course I messed this up I just had to mess this up like an idiot I mean stupid one heck I've got to move them too slow maybe I can just take and go King C7 this looks very scary but it's the best I have I think yeah. I need to think here and, and you play on my opponent's time because he's we're both getting a little bit low here so I need to be very careful oh no did I just blunder again what the heck oh my god I just Ah, shoot. I just blundered. 
Or did I? Ay ay ay. Maybe I'm okay. Because maybe it's a draw. Wait, it goes to H3, which... Starting work to... Yeah, I messed this up. So I've got Chuck Chuck, maybe. And take with a Rook, too, actually. But now I cover the squ Ah, I tricked him. Now I cover the squares. Wait. Stupid. I think I'm winning here. I should be winning. Yeah, I'm winning. <sighs> he should have taken the draw. He, he should he should have taken the draw. He 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 got a little bit too cocky. Yeah. Oh yeah yeah. What a bad game. <sighs> Jeez. I was better here, right? A rook b8? Oh, I should have gone c5. Oh, king c7 is a blunder. He goes here, and it's still winning, but he, he goes here. Oh, I should take and go queen c7. Wow. Okay, I don't do that. Oh, he should have played... Rook, oh, he should have gone Rook F8 and just stacked, right? Not there, sorry. Rook B8. Or no, this... <laughs> Rook... <laughs> Rook A7, I... I, okay. I mean, I don't understand. Rook A7, I'm in the game. Um, But he has Rook C8, he, he has Rook C8, which is winning. I mean... Yeah, I mean, this is already a bit much. We get here. Yeah, and he, he checks. He, he could have made the draw, I think. Wait. Yeah, he checks, and then he checks. I think Rook F7... I thought Rook F7 was a draw. And now I'm better. But then I blunder here. I blunder this rookie one like an idiot. Oh, I had rookie seven. Mm. Oh, rookie seven. I go here. And now it's a draw. But now I'm better. Yeah, I mean, insane. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this was this was a pretty insane game that I won. But we got the win, and we are on four out of four. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a very wild game. Actually, let's take a look at the game itself again because I thought I was worse in the in the opening. Like I had a feeling this is some kind of alpha zero thing, right? Is this alpha zero style or not? Yay! White is better, but e5 is a mistake. High precision game. That was a terrible game. That was a terrible game. Um, thanks for the map over the twenty thing and King Ray for the twelve. Gentlemen prefer checkers for the four. Thank you to Fantize for the eight. And John for the prime. Thank you to Smiling Rob with the prime. And Ed Swede with the prime. Yeah, crazy game, but we got the wins. We're on four out of four. Um, let's see how, how many other games are going. Yeah. Okay, we have Amon Hambleton um, playing against a Baroness. I mean, A2 is a draw, but okay, takes. This will go for a while still. Thank you so much to Ace of Press for the 37. I Psychonaut for the 43. Appreciate it. So, still a, oh, come on, dude. Come on, terrible. All right, we're gonna take our first break. I'm gonna go use the restroom. We'll be right back. So give me one second, you guys. 
All right. Um, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play classic D4 here. I, I want to play something a little bit more traditional. I'm gonna go bishop B4. Um, I could play knight C3. I think I'm gonna play knight C3 here. I could play knight D2 also, but I'm gonna go knight C3. It goes C5. I'm gonna play D5. Take. I think I'm gonna go F3 here and play like a Ben Oni. Or not a Ben Oni, sorry, a Zemish. A Samish, Samish setup here with E4. Um, I have Knight H3, Knight F2, which is playable. I'm trying to remember where the Knight belongs here. Because I can put the Knight on F2. I think the Knight belongs on F2. I'm just gonna put it here. go here I guess you can obviously go queen a4 but I'm not super concerned I'll just go queen b3 guard the pawn probably bishop d3 maybe f4 somewhere in here as well Let's see what he does I can also go knight d1 knight b2 or actually knight d1 knight e3 is kind of interesting too um I'm gonna go knight d1 and maybe knight b2 here maybe knight e3 depending what he does Strange position. It's very hard to judge what's going on here. Let's go here, hit the queen. Now I have f4 to kick the knight as well. So I should be doing well, objectively. If, if my understanding of the position is correct here, there's also a4, a5, but I think I like f4 here. And just bishop d3. Ink. I don't understand that move. I'm going to go bishop d3 here. I mean, I still have a4, a5 looming as well. Objectively, I should be much better here. Should be and are referred to different things. Now, I could go f5, um, which I think is what I should play. Knight of four, I'll just take and castles, take the pawn. It's a free juicer, why not? I mean, you can try to reroute the knight to e5, but again, I'm up a pawn. It's not the greatest pawn of all time, but it is a pawn. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should have gone bishop f1 and g. Eh, maybe. Hard to judge. I wonder if here I should have played like G3 to stop. Yeah, whatever. It's too late. Can't can't change things. I mean, I'm, I am fine here. It's a question of am I actually better? And I'm not. I'm not sure. Like, I feel like I should be better, but I I don't really know if I actually am. So my extra pawn is a doubled pawn, which is kind of a problem. Yeah, he goes there. I expected this. Um, I'll just go here. Okay, I could go f6. I don't really like it though. So I think I'm gonna go queen d1. And maybe move the bishop back and maybe I should have gone bishop b2 and knight d3. Because queen g5, I expected that. Okay, I'm gonna go here and bishop a4. Maybe I maybe I have h4 too, maybe, depending what he does. Now if I go bishop a4, I trade, but I don't think that's right. I think actually going here and knight d3 should be better. Let's go here, get rid of this great knight. And I mean, again, I'm, I'm up a pawn. It's not the best pawn of all time, but I am just up a pawn. So like at the end of the day, I'm up a pawn here. I've got a very stable position and I should be, there should be zero risk as well, which is very, very important. Maybe a4, a5 down the road too. I think I'm actually, I'm going to go a4 here. I'm going to go a5. If he moves the rook back, I just go queen d2. I always have bishop d3, just hold the pawns. I don't understand that move at all. Let's go queen d2. I mean, I'm going to go rook a1 here, and objectively, I feel like I should be doing very, very well. And bring this rook back, or go bishop d3. I think I'll just bring this rook back, go bishop d3 here. There's always f6, but I don't need it, so let's just go bishop d3, consolidate, and improve the position. Maybe rook b1. Question is, how do I improve here? How do I win this game? It goes there. I don't know. I can go rook b1. I'm not, not really worried. I mean, is, is he... Okay, let's just go back. I think I'll go here to guard the pawn as well. I think I'm going to play queen f4 here and try to trade the queens, maybe. Let's rook b8, logical. I could play f6 somewhere. b3 is a move. I mean, it's, I think at some point, I kind of want to bring my king over to the to the queen side if I can. Like, maybe get the king to d2 or something. 
but it's still not very easy to play. Let's go queen h4. How do I do this? Okay, I think I'm gonna go here, maybe rook b1. Still not easy to play. Okay, let's go back. Thanks to whoever just gifted me subs. Um, <laughs> have to focus on the game, so give me a second, but thank you for the gifteds. Let's go here, go here. Maybe I have some Bishop A4 idea down the road too. It goes F6. I'm just going to go here to overprotect everything. Hmm. I mean, I can go G4. Actually, you know what? What is wrong with G4 and H4? I don't think anything is actually wrong with this. There, logical. Okay, I think here I should probably go like... I mean, H4 is probably just good. Maybe I just go like here though I think I'll go here because h5 I have g5 okay let's go here rook g1 actually at some point I should probably go bishop a4 I think like maybe yeah I think I'll go h4 idea g5 it goes b6 I'm not really worried about b6 I could go a6 potentially, but I don't really like it. So I think, how do I improve my position is the question. I'm just going to go here and take. Trying to squeeze him where I can play on both sides of the board eventually. There's always bishop a4. Now I can go g5. Let's go g5. So I have takes and king b2, I think. Let's go here. There's a b6 also. There's also a b6, which is a big problem now. There's also bishop a4, which is a big problem. Just take, and now he's just getting mated. Just take. Very, very clean game. We got the win. Five out of five. Thank you, JW Bucks for the eight. Thank you to Big Trot for the 10. Thank you to maincard.io for the 10. Give this thing to X Messiah for the prime and Kodo McNuggets for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we got the big win. Five out of five. Let's see who else is still playing in round number five. Let's see what's left. We have Shugarov versus Levon Aronian. And it looks like Shugarov is winning here with the black pieces. So he'll move to five out of five. Or wait, sorry. Le sorry, it's love with black, not, not um, Shugarov. So yeah, Lev should get the win here and move to five out of five. Yay! I think there's a calm truce for the 14 months. Thanks so much to calm truce. <laughs> Thank you. Probably you just wait here. When was the last capture? Last capture was on move 48, so it's move 98 to get to 50. I, I really don't think so. Queen c8, of course. Or like queen a8. Queen a8. Queen g8, probably. Probably just keep tickling with the checks. Queen a8. Gotta go. Bring up one. Move. 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 Queen g8. King g1 might be a threefold there, by the way. Move. 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 I mean, both players. Uh, come on. Move. Lev might lose now. Lev might lose. Is she four? Queen d5, oh my god. Oh my god, white is gonna win this game. Oh my. I was right, Shugarov was gonna win. Um, I was right about that part. Queen f5, of course, yeah. I was right about that part, right? 
Yeah, just king e4. King e5. <sighs> Brutal. Queen f3 is just winning for white. E4, E5. <sighs> Queen G3. <laughs> yeah, he missed 91, which is winning. But I mean, Aroni got too low on time. And that's like another perfect example of uh, of the Kramnik thing. Like you see, like Levon over the board. He he over the board. Levon wins that game every time. Online, you probably win that like 80% and 20%, like 15% is a draw and 5% you lose. Like that's a great example of the difference between over the board and online. Very, very, very good example of the difference. Lev never loses that game, game over the board. Never. Never loses that over the board. Never. Ever, 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 ever loses. Okay. Um, we're playing Minlay. What do I want to play? I think I'll play something different. Um, what do I want to play? I'll play a Slav. Let's just play. A... Oh, he's probably gonna play an exchange though. E three. Okay, which one do I want to play? I think I'll play the old A six line. It's been a long time since I played the Chubanenko Slav with A six, but let's give it a go. I think the first time I started playing this was when I was about 15 or 16 years old, many, 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 many moons ago. Okay, now I know Bishop F5 is playable here. Um, so what I'm gonna do. Because Queen B3, B5, there's some like there's some A4 line, which I think is supposed to be okay. Yeah, you go like E6 and Rook A7 or something. I think it's takes, right? Is it DC4? Or is it knight E4? I'm trying to remember. I think it's DC4 though. Yeah, it's DC4. Because H5, there's Bishop D3. Bishop c4, I think it's knight bd7 if I remember correctly. You'd be very careful here. If you play the wrong sequence, you actually could just lose. I think it's knight bd7, or is it knight? Or is this is this one where you go bishop e4? I'm trying to remember how this line goes. Is it knight fd7? No, it, actually, I think it's here, right? Knight e5, d e5. Wait, knight bd7, h5, knight e5, take six, queen d1. Knight d1, king d1, there's knight g4. Yeah, I think this is correct. g5, knight e5, d5, queen d1. If king d1, there's knight g4. h5, knight e5, d5, queen d1. Knight d1, there's bishop e4. Okay, so he takes, I take, and now we just get the standard position. Yeah, okay, that's just normal chess. Queen f3, logical. Um, bishop b4, I believe, with queen e7 is supposed to re be reasonable. I think queen c7 also playable, but I kind of want to castle. I don't want it to deal with this g5 stuff and pressure towards the uh, towards the uh, f7 pawn. Bishop a6, I just take and slide over. And b1, logical. Knight d5 is probably playable, but I'm just going to slide the king over anyway because no need to be cheeky. It goes h5, which looks kind of wrong to me, but I don't I don't really know why. But it just it feels kind of wrong, so I'm going to go g5. I don't know if g5 is right. Probably I should just trade, but. Whatever, life's too short to worry about such things. Takes gives him a very easy play. He goes e4, I expected that. I do have e5 here, I thought. If we go e5, bishop g5, e4, rook d4, knight e5, take six, takes. I know, let's just go for it. This could be bad, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. And I might be six here, am I stupid? Bishop b3, cd5 maybe. Okay, I can also just wait. Bishop c3, bishop c3, cd5. No, actually, that's no good. So, probably just take. Now, I could take. I think 98 is better, actually. I'm going to play 98 here to just take. No, this is. I should have gone to d7, probably. Or played even e4. It goes bishop e3, which I don't think is right, but it's also not like it's a bad move either. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I go here to hold the pawns. I mean, yeah, this is not a good position for me, but I think I'm still kind of okay. Who's there? Okay, I mean, I have to put one of the knights on d6. Just a question of which one. Um, matter. 
this one looks right and the reason this one feels right to me is just because um when i take and he takes i get like 97. of course i miss this too mm, let's go here i mean i'm definitely worse i'm going to 84 but i think i'm just gonna go here and then 94 next move maybe if I get Rook C8 and I can trade the Rooks, I'm probably fine. It's a matter of tempos here, so let's see what he does. I could have gone Knight D4 right away, maybe, but whatever. It was Queen D1. Okay, so I mean, I, I assume I should play Rook C8 here. Just to trade. Now, I can also go Knight D4 here. I can also take... I think I'm going to go Knight D4 and sack a pawn and just argue that I'm fine here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go here and play like rookie eight and just, I'm going to make an argument that I can't really be much worse with like queen e5 or queen e4. Here. I mean, I probably am worse, but am I much worse or just a little bit worse? I think I'm okay though, because the extra pawn here is blockaded by the knight. Go rookie two, I guess. Uh, knight c4 is not a move. Rookie three is a move. Rook f2. I mean, rookie three, rook d3 is probably just a draw. I think I'm going to go a5 here. Just to fix the pawn structure here. Now all my pieces are on the opposite color too. Like you'll notice everything is on the dark squares here. It was rook d3 logical. And obviously check. I'm going to try to run my king up maybe. I'm getting these sword delusions of grandeur. I think I might be able to try and win this game. Just there, which... here like it's a still a draw but it's easier for me to play than him just because he can't touch my touch anything okay so okay logical let's go here hmm is there a way to play this for more is what I'm trying to figure out oh I blundered this at, oh my god I just blundered rook c5 what the heck Oh, jeez. I just blundered this. What the fridge was that? Oh, my God. What did I just do? <laughs> I had to go to B6. I still might be able to save this. I got a move though. And now I blundered. And I just threw the game. <sighs> I threw this. Or did I? <laughs> oh my God, I just tricked him. It's still a draw, I think. But I have to be very precise here. Let's just go here and cut him off. It's still a, it's a draw, I think. Yeah. Jeez. Or is it? Okay, just wait. It's just a draw. I'm going to go here and rook, rook c1 back. Uh, it's just a draw. <sighs> Terrible. I mean, I never had chances to win, so I shouldn't complain. But yeah, he, he walked into this fork, which was very, very, very careless of him. Was I ever better is the question. I don't think I was better, but... No, I was never better. Yeah, like here it's a draw. This is this is a draw drawn, drawn position until I allowed rook c5. Yeah, king c5 is a draw. Yeah, king d7 is ridiculous. Yeah, just a ridiculous move by me.